Hello guys, we're going to review the Tiger P Premium Kit. Kit number is 6352. So this is an upgraded version of the kit, which number escapes me. It's a bit of an older Dragon one, although oddly, um, which made my brain hurt a little, the older one came with DS, and this one comes with Magic Tracks. I always had a an idea in my mind that it was like a linear shift to the wrong, whereas like, uh, indie links on sprues and then magic tracks and then DS because it saves money. Not necessarily true. They're still putting out kits with magic tracks occasionally. Um, not often, but whatever. So, uh, Pentacomp Vagen 6P, right? So, this kit is meant to represent one particular Tiger P that was the command vehicle, and I want to say 653 uh, Schwede Panzer right? So, the um, heavy tank destroyer unit in Russia. That's why there's a Ferdy over here. I have no interest in making this vehicle, so I won't be using it for that. That guy had Zim anyway. Um, and now they've released a version of this kit with Zimmerit. Not sure if it's DS. I believe it is DS again in there. So this is kind of the best one, but it doesn't have Zimmerit. Of the three Dragon Tiger P's being the older one, which you can get... Actually, it's still not even that cheap. Then this guy, then the new one with Zim. But as you can see on the art, this guy has Zimmerit and a Panzer III bin, and ugh, I just don't like the way that looks. That's what he looked like. He was number 003, tritonal camo. A little bit of stuff in the box. There's a little goodie box in here, which is very cool. Let's see what they claim has been upgraded. New design for escape hatch assembly. I don't know if that's true at all. Sometimes I wonder if they're being completely dishonest. This is the part about this kit that bugs me. I've heard that these grills are a nightmare because you have to assemble two different pieces of photo etch together and it's preferable to do it by soldering. I don't know how to solder. I have no idea. So There's your magic tracks uh, and then newly updated wheels. So I'm going to assume that the toolings were refined or uh, made more crisp from the older one. There's the back of it. So. Photo etch smoke signal basket. If that's not pre-assembled, I'm going to hate it. There's a turret. A lot of this stuff comes from, uh, and the turret anyway, from other Tiger Ones, Henschel Tiger Ones. I know this though. This is exactly the Henschel gun bit. Let's see. Turret stowage bin brackets and spare track racks made from photo etch parts. That sounds awful. I'm getting better at this, but this stuff still scares me. I like how you have the um, the smoke launcher brackets with the bolts here, but without the actual smoke launchers. That's pretty cool. So, tools with PE clamps. Haven't done that yet. Still terrified. Metal tow cables. These are all still, in my opinion, everyone that I've ever dealt with has been too stiff, and I need to anneal it, which means set it on fire. And that still doesn't go that well, but whatever. Upgraded frontal MG, so that may have, the old kit may not have had the seven part MG34. This is interesting. PE brackets and hinges, that looks great, but I bet you that's a nightmare to assemble. Alright, so let's do some instructions. Now I've never built a Tiger P, and I don't have any of the other kits, which I like to when I do these things, because at least for Tigers, I like to know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, I do have a Ferdinand, but that's premium and from about the same era, so I bet you a lot of the updated suspension stuff is going to be the same. Uh, there's not a ton of unused. If you look where the unused stuff is, some of it's on the the Tiger P turret sprue, some tools, that's always the case. Not sure why with some of the suspension. There's a mantlet. And then this, I believe, B here, is the an older Tiger P sprue from the other kit which was updated by, see how there's fenders here, and then there's separate fenders here. So you're going to use the H fenders, not the B fenders. I'm sure there are other parts that are the same. Like, it looks like maybe the front or rear plate is here, and I bet that's somewhere else new as well. Not sure where. I won't try to guess. So, um, I wonder why everything's shaded. That's a little strange. 
not used to seeing that. Usually it's just this, not this. And normally when you do see something shaded, it's like put Zimmer in here or whatever. I think it's a Tamiya thing. So, simple wheels and sprockets. Uh, and these kind of odd bogies. Looks really simple. Very, very simple. Everything up until this point. Steps one, two, three, four. That looks very rudimentary, very basic. How many other words for simple can I think of? Um, right, and these are steel wheels. So you could, in theory, put them on here. I won't, because I like to paint the... Uh, the worn steel around the outside, so I still wait. I've also never seen anyone actually glue their final drives to their sprockets and then to the hole. I'm sure someone does that, but I don't. And this is odd. I think Tiger Peas have, like, sprockets on both sides. Not used to seeing that. Or at least teeth on whatever you would consider an idler. But they're having you do magic tracks here. None of us do that, because that's silly. Again, still really basic. For a Dragon kit, this is a very low part count. Which, with a lot of these premiums, you'll see, because it's an older tooling and an older kit, so it wasn't designed to be really complex in that way, so they just start adding on super detailed bits to the simple. It's a little intense, but... Alright. Your standard, I believe, 7. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, 8, part MG, 34. So that's where it gets a little more modern. Here you've got these PE clamps. Look at this. They're telling you to bend stuff. And that's basically, that looks like a nightmare to assemble. And then put the little pin through, but it will look really sweet. And those are going on here. Not a whole lot goes on here, then. A couple of bits go in here, it looks like. And this front plate and the added on armor, I assume, on front. Or if that's just what that thing looked like. Again, that Tiger Peas and me don't get along terribly well. Because I like the Tiger other Tiger ones, standard Tiger ones so much. Not a lot going on here. I don't even know what the hell. This must be these fence vents. So these are sort of a louver. Or something. And then here's where the, the mesh goes in. And I read that, oh, actually, it's over there. All right, disregard. These look okay. I'll start complaining over here. So here we have PE tool clamps going on by the look of it here. Subassembly D. I don't even see those. Here they are. They're over here. Yeah, there's really not much of an option, I don't think. In this kit, I, I don't see molded on clamps, so that sucks. I've seen them with a few... Um, premiums where it, like it's just you don't have the option of doing the smart kit style uh, molded on clamps which is what I prefer because it's easier and I'm a wuss. Here we've got some lights going on. It's a little hard to look at. It's not a lot going on but it is sort of a convoluted diagram where they've got different levels of of boldness to the lines like so you're not supposed to really see this but it is still in my face and it's weird. Standard jack uh, the heavier type. I don't know the tonnage of them, but I know that there are different types, and that's a Tiger one. And again, PE clamps. Now this. This is the soldering bit. So apparently, there's like a frame and the piece of mesh. Yeah, here we go. MB7 and MA7 and MA8. You need to somehow affix this mesh, which just ends in wires sticking out, to this. Now that will look better, but I can't imagine being able to CA that elegantly. I will probably have to try, because I don't know how to solder. So then you put this to this, and then that on this back um, styrene piece. But once that gets built up, both these vents, these side vents and these, that looks pretty sweet. You've got lots of little stuff going on here now. Very cool. So that looks like the end of the hull. This stuff is all very standard to me, on account of being a Tiger fanatic. Your standard Tiger 1 gun sprue. Oh, what the hell they're telling me here? Cut something off? From A11. Huh. That's weird. Uh, that may have something to do with a uh, metal barrel. But the rest of this is your standard Tiger 1 gun sprue, which I've, I have, I don't know, 15 of. Uh, two halves of the turret, 
which in the Tiger One community we call the Tiger P uh, turret sprue, and there's a reason for that. Here it is. Um, so this one will have a giving you the option for two pistol ports or an esca an, an, an escape hatch, which I like because I plan to do uh, the Tiger P prototype, which I will get to in a bit, how that's not really possible, but it's what I want to do anyway, uh, which would have had two pistol ports, su super early Tiger One turrets like DAC initials and stuff. All your basic stuff, so commander seat, uh, the ventilator cover, this one does have a early hatch with a periscope hole in it, which I know supposedly Vitman did to his Tiger One, although nobody really can show me what it looks like, and on here it's actually just a hole in the top. Um, and Tiger 131 in Bovington does have the mount for a scissors periscope, so it may have actually been a thing that was supposed to be standard at some point. But all the early turret markers... Uh, I think this may be an upgrade for the premium, having the little loader's hatch bracket, this guy here. I'm assuming because it has TH1 as the part number. Otherwise it would have been on a sprue. Like a real one. TH means it's going to be one of those tiny little sprues. But everything else looks just like every other Tiger 1 turret. Multi-part vision blocks in the turret, but there's that hatch with the hole in it. Making sure that's on camera and it's not. There you go. Um, man, how long have I been pointing at stuff you can't see? Right there. Um, turrets going together. I super dig that they have the smoke launcher brackets without smoke launchers. This is a PE piece that you wrap together. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do this. I'll just tell you right up. That's not going to happen for me. This is interesting. Um, there are apparently spare Tiger P tracks on the back of it, behind the Panzer III turret bin. Um, not a fan of these being on Tigers, by the way. I hate it, actually. I think it's stupid looking. I understand that it happened, and accuracy is why I do this, but oy, it just looks stupid. So, then you've got these tiny little padlocks. They're a pain in the butt, and they're in styrene. With some PE bits to help. Um, and that looks like the majority of the end of the Tiger P assembly. Now I'm concerned that I was pointing at stuff you couldn't see, so hopefully I wasn't doing that. <clears throat> uh, the only marking option left for this guy is Tritonal, Dunkel Gelb with Olive Grun and Rook Brown, and kind of a random splotchy pattern. And one marking option, which is 003, 00 meaning he was a command tank. Alright, so, let's get to this stuff. All of this, by the way, I almost actually took some film of it because it was primarily individually bagged in one of those boxes that when you open it, it kind of goes blip, like pops out, and that's fun. You don't see that as much anymore because I feel like they're getting kind of cheap. But screw it. Uh, we're just going to do it the way I always do it, upside down, apparently. So here is, like I said, the TH sprue with just the loader's hatch bracket. There's the standard Tiger 1 turret. Actually, I bet you that's just a standard Tiger 1 clear parts thing, so it's probably for the front of a Tiger 1. That's a darker than usual tow cable. It's fascinating. These are normally always the same color. Do I have one laying around here? kind of can't believe I don't have one laying around here. Um, but they're normally not this dark. Look at that. Looks like somebody tried to anneal it for me. Uh, there's the markings. 003. Four Balkan Kreutz and some logo I'm not familiar with could be 653. Um, tank Destroyer. Not sure. Your standard MG34 bow mount, like seven piece. Now, this starts to annoy me. Um, this is a better done than it used to be um, early Tiger 1 mat, uh, sorry, cupola. I thought I just saw like a little marred sprue attachment there. And then this, I don't understand why this is in here. Oh, maybe I do. It actually has a molded-on cast number. Never seen that before. It has the number 20-something, 23. So I haven't seen a cast um, number on a Tiger 1 turret. The problem with this is this is a standard early Tiger 1 mantlet. It's not a Tiger P mantlet. They've made a Tiger P mantlet, um, but not for the, the modern gun sprue. 
more on that later. But there's a dragon card, which also came with, and I, I took this out to show Alex from the Google Plus group. That's the photo etch that comes in this thing. It's kind of a lot for me. It's pretty thin, which I like. It's very, like, wah, wah. thin. A lot of it is tool clamps, which you can see. These are those bastard uh, grills. I don't actually see... I don't see, like, a separate thing to glue them to. I'm sure that'll become obvious to me as I try to build the thing. But that's the PE. It's kind of extensive for myself, but I guess a lot of you guys might not be scared by this. But little bits like this. Yeah, they they get to me. Because I have small hands, so that means this stuff is really small. So there's the PE fret, actually. I don't know if it's a lot for a premium compared to, like, the, the Panthers and stuff I have. I don't think it's terribly much. Um, and then here is... Oops, knocking stuff around over here. These are the Tiger P Magic Tracks. I th there's some difference about these or the Ferdinand ones. There's some. I think Dragon at one point was making incorrect Tiger P tracks. And these are supposedly fixed or something. Or maybe it's my Ferdinand kid. I might not know what I'm talking about. Because um, I, I don't know that these are left and right. I think they might be like tooth and not tooth? Yeah. So this side has no guide tooth, and this side does. So those are just the every other ones, kind of like when you do King Tigers. Magic Tracks makes my day. I like the way they look very, very much. Uh, and then we've got this little bugger. In a premium kit, um, sometimes you get really big ones, and then sometimes you get... Oh, there's those things right there. That's what I have to attach in some way, solder, glue, the mesh to. That right, that's wire apparently. Here's your smoke launcher brackets. Here it looks like what is the pins for the fenders? Goofy spring and the standard Tiger One metal barrel, which I have many of. But at least it's in there. I know there's been lots of drama about these things being taken out, and it was there. Mind you, I bought this from another guy in the community who may have had it for a while, so. Alright, so the lower hull. Um, I looked at this a minute ago, and I can't help but feel like it looks a little simple. I don't know if that's because of, like, this. I kind of expect there to be, like, realistic welding everywhere. Like, if you see here, obviously that looks like it was welded. Um, but then I look at areas where there aren't welds, and I'm like, well, how the hell was that put together? But maybe I'm just nitpicking. It's massive. Tiger P was a big thing. It's got supports on the inside, which I kind of like because as long as it doesn't affect detail at all it'll support it and keep it from warping. Um, the bottom detail is fine. I, I don't even usually paint. Um, I prime the bottoms but I don't even always paint them. Check, I have a kid I'm painting right now. See how like there's paint there and then there's just primer on the bottom. So. But it's fine. Um, it's not one of those pieces where I looked at it and I was like, oh my god, that's beautiful. But it, it's nice. I don't know how it's improved from the older one, and I'll be damned if I'm going to buy a, an older version of a kit just to compare them, you know? Alright. Let's start with some sprues. This is the, the larger Tiger P sprue. Mm -hmm. That says elephant on it, actually. Elephant. Um, that you're not going to use a bunch of. A lot of it was blued out in the instructions, so I don't have those right in front of me, but I know for sure that the fenders weren't. So let's look at the fenders. On the bottom, they are smooth. So we'll check out the other ones, see if they are as well. Weird. Um, if you can, I don't know if it's picking up. Do you see that piece right there? You can kind of see here. Like, what is that? It's showing me that, but I can see it through the piece, not even in the light. I'm going to look at it. Yeah, I can. I just held it up to the light. I can see right through it. Uh, I'm not sure if that piece is being used or not, but that doesn't feel right to me. 
Um, the rest of these pieces look... This looks great. I don't know if you use this or not, but I like how big these bolts and stuff are. But a lot of the stuff on this sprue looks a little old. It looks thicker than I'm used to. There's also some raised um, guide point type stuff on this guy. I don't know if it's picking up or not. But, um, come on, buddy. You know, like older Imperial series kind of stuff. This looks like a jack block with no texture. Um, this is like a vent that is solid. Don't care for that. So hopefully I don't use a ton of this. Now, I had the situation with the Nashorn that I built. I built the new one. came with all the old sprues. I had some damaged new parts, and I got to use the old parts. So it was like I had spares of everything. So I kind of love it when they put this stuff in there. I know a lot of people complain. I don't. So right away, I believe this is new to the, the premium Tiger P, or maybe just the Tiger P. So these are the fenders we will use, I think, but they have this molded on. I thought they wanted me to uh, photo etch this. Tell me they don't want me to carve it off. Because if you have to carve this off, you're going to lose the anti-slip texture that's up here. And they are even smoother and more ejector pinny than the other ones. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I'm missing something. That's entirely possible. This stuff looks a little more modern, a little thinner. There was nothing this thin on that last sprue. These are odd bits. I am going to have to build this in some sort, just so I have some reference for Tiger Peas in the future. I know there was only some prototypes and, you know, the one field one, but it's a Tiger thing, and I love Tigers, so. But everything on here looks fine. Uh, this is the only one that feels kind of modern to me. Everything's thinner and nicely done, but it's okay. These fenders look fine. I mean, this looks great, since I don't want to do PE anyway. That looks nice. Really, lots of marks here. If you can see that at all, you need to fill it. That's that guy. Here's your main upper hull. Uh, I would guess that this is a retooled sprue, not a new tooled sprue. Here's your styrene option for your tow cables. They look a little thick, to be honest. Nice, though. Um, the, the demarcation between the brackets and the cables looks pretty clean. And then there's actually... This looks like the old option for eyelets for doing the tail cable. They don't do this anymore, where they have it carved all the way out under there. Actually, it's much easier to use these, by the way. I hate trying to get the cable into that little hole. Sorry, you can hear me clench my teeth when I said that. Some real tiny bits up here. Don't know what the deuce those guys are. Looks like some periscope covers, which look awfully straight. Normally these have more of an angle to them. I don't know if this is perfectly in focus or not. It's an iPad. I'm trying. Um, here, this looks like an older piece with molded on tools. I'll probably try not to use this, just because it, the tools look pretty muddy. Here's the styrene option for that basket. It's in PE on this kit. That's not too bad. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself, because I don't want to do the photo etch one. Some bits for the... Um, Cupola, don't know if those are used anymore. So this upper deck looks pretty nice. It's clean. I would assume they, they did a little work on it before releasing it as a premium. Not positive, though. But it looks pretty nice. Right. So on here, we've got two and a half of this sprue. So I'll use one. And what it means is we got this one twice. I figure out where to put this. You got this one twice, and then again you have the suspension part. So you've got two of these and three of these. <clears throat> and I guess they retooled or, or cleaned up these wheels. Um, they look pretty clean. Uh, they're pretty simple wheels. They're actually a lot smaller than I expected. The bogies, I don't like the two halves thing. I prefer it when they do these with, like, slide molded. They've never done them for a Tiger P, but anything cylindrical where they have, like, little multi-assemblies, kind of like the Tiger 1 barrels are, 
I don't like the just half and half old school modeling thing. This seems okay, but you can tell it's sort of an older tool. There's your difference. I think one of these would be the front, one of these would be the back. I don't know which. They look pretty good. There's your towing shackles. Lights. Real basic stuff. It all seems okay. Sorry, I bumped the camera. Oh, I just broke something off. Oh, it's like a nub. Nothing. But well, here's your tiny parts. It could be anything. But there are your suspension sprue. It's an upgraded version, I assume, or a slightly sharpened version of the old ones. This I'm not real happy about. This is my... I know the turret bin's on here, but check that action out. That's how it came. Getting a little sick of getting warp sprues. I can work around them most of the time, but it's a pain. So here's the assemblies. This looks good. Where you put those... some of the vents. But I like the, uh, the recesses where the bolts go. That just looks really clean. All this seems pretty modern. Real crisp. There's big ejector pin marks here. But hopefully you won't see that. Some big old grab handles. Um, this is the, I hate to say it, uh, crappier of the Panzer III turret bins. They have one that has interior detail on this hatch, so you can have it open. I don't ever see me doing that, but I like the option. Also, not rivets around the backside. I think they're supposed to be. These go inside of these vents, I believe. This looks like the inside of the bow. The driver's hatch, uh, slit, not hatch. That's a convoy light, an early type. That goes in the back by the turret bin. I think this m might not be used. This might be the the main vent that goes where that one I have to build is, or this the stuff I have to build goes on top of this. One of those two things. This looks really clean and modern, but it's freaking warped. Come on, man. You're killing me. What do we got? So now we got some stuff that's more up my alley. Here we have your standard Tiger One A sprue of the gun. I like this guy. It builds up really sweet. Uh, here's what I was kind of complaining about. Uh, I don't have a whole lot to say about this because it's the same as every other Tiger One gun sprue ever. It's all clean, three part muzzle brake, builds up beautifully. Um, there's two of these pistol ports in case you want to do the early version. Oh, I almost just knocked my camera over. Sweet. All right, so. The problem is, is the one that came on the uh, Dragon Card and this one, none of them have the Tiger P notch cut in them, which means that right here, there should be a notch cut in there so that it could clear the, I think, periscope cover on the front of the Tiger P. Which brings me to this sprue. This is the Tiger P sprue that normally I get sad about when Dragon use on a Tiger because it's the two halves and I prefer the one solid nicer piece. This has the older version of a Tiger mantlet with the Tiger P-notch cut out. But since they've upgraded the gun to be using this gun, not the two halves, because the old Tiger piece for this was uh, too old to use an old school, you know, glue them together two half thing, um, you can't use it. So what you have to do is use this or the one that came in the thing and just carve it out by hand. Annoying. Because they knew it was a thing, but this is the only Tiger P mantlet I've ever seen. Now, when Dragon release um, the new Tiger 131 kit, which has a Tiger P mantlet, they better have one in this style with this notch cut in it, or I'm going to be sad. It will suck. Because you can't call it Tiger 131 unless it has a Tiger P mantlet. You lazy something. Alright, so let's check this guy out real quick. Welds look nice here. This may have been upgraded because there's many iterations of this old Tiger P sprue. Sometimes they cut off this guy. In this case, they didn't because you're allowed to, 003, I think, had this escape hatch, but like the prototypes wouldn't have. Um, and I'll talk about that now, I guess, because I don't know when else I'll have time to. The Tiger P prototypes didn't even have this kind of turret. They had a special kind of Tiger turret, which, if you look at this profile, how it goes flat and then slants here, didn't have that. It actually was like a, a perfectly flat angle, and it just sloped down the whole way. And then in the middle of 
the turret roof, there was a raised area right here. It actually ran into the cupola here. So it was just a big fat piece that was an, an, an opening inside so that the gun could depress. I think a Tallery is the only one who ever made a kit of that turret. The Girls und Panzer thing had an upgrade set where you could glue a piece onto this turret and it would kind of look right, but it shouldn't have this not like this angle change in it so it's still not accurate. So if I want to build the prototypes that were shown off in you know in uh, the wolf's lair when they were trying to pick which tiger to use, I'd have to like custom sand this or make it planar somehow and then alter a roof myself, which I can't even think of how I would do. So I want to build a tiger P prototype. I have no idea how to do it. Um, everything else on here looks all right. This sprue is old. I'm a little sick of it. Um, the handles look clean. They're small. This is an earlier type of escape hatch they did where you had to glue this part onto here. But it's fine. It'll look good. With the upgraded cupola and stuff, it'll be fine. It's basically the same turret style they have in uh, 6600, the initial Tiger one. So, uh, the only things left are the little guys. This one I don't even recognize. I'm not even sure what these things are. This, yeah, no. This reminds me of scope parts, like scissors periscopes? Yeah. I think this is like a multi-part scissors periscope that I've never seen before. Interesting. The only ones I've seen uh, are like, as molded as maybe two pieces, like in my NAS horn, so... Real clean, modern, very, very tiny stuff. I bet you that looks amazing. There's that guy. Here's your standard German OVM uh, without tool clamps. Same as it ever was, still looking good, no flash. This is in a ton. Most premium kits, I think, have that exact screw. <clears throat> so this would be your multi-part jack and your later... Uh, towing, I think that's the clevis thing. Clevis? Clevis? Clef I, don't, I don't know. These are the earlier type, the S ones, and then the later, heavier tanks would have these. And then that jack is pretty sweet. Built it a bunch of times, as I assume most guys have. Then the last bits. Two different sized eyelets for the tow cable. Actually, check that. They're all the exact same size. So four of just the larger type that you use on like tigers and panthers. And the padlocks for the turret bin. Are you kidding me small? They are it's item thing I can get them focus on this camera. So that I think is all the bits. So premium Tiger P, it's a mix of uh, super simple and fiddly PE stuff, right? Because it's an upgraded old kit, so it has like the lineage of a bit simple, but they refined the moldings of it, but the I think the part count's pretty low. Um, and then, well, it says over 640 parts, but I know a lot of that is magic tracks, but... So there's this Tiger P. I know there's reviews of the other one. So now you know what